Officials in Cliffside Park weren't expecting to find a leak at Anderson Avenue today, but workmen for United Water came across a faulty valve that spewed water for a few minutes, just in time to make the point for today's press conference. We had identified a faulty valve, and you can see the crew behind me is in the process of replacing that valve so we can prevent a major disruption to water service, traffic, and the commerce that's occurring along this main thoroughfare. Everyone here agrees that the state's water infrastructure is crumbling beneath us. Water main breaks in New Jersey are becoming as common as mosquitoes in the Meadowlands, creating sinkholes and traffic jams, wasting millions of gallons of treated water, costing municipalities and utilities and ultimately you millions of dollars. New Jersey needs $7.9 billion alone to repair its water infrastructure. We'll need to find a total of $633 billion over the next 20 years. Pascrell and fellow Democrat U.S. Senator Bob Menendez are promoting the Sustainable Water Infrastructure Act, which they say would stimulate private investment in water utility projects by lifting the caps on so-called private activity bonds, bonds issued by local governments to pay for private projects. The benefit for investors is tax breaks, for municipalities, savings. We get the private sector to make investments because they get a tax benefit, but we get the bigger benefit by multiples of dollars. And where communities like Cliffside Park wouldn't have to take it out of their budget, and their budget comes from the taxpayers of the community. This is not the first time or the second time that a bill like this has been close to passage. But Congressman Pascrell and Senator Menendez say this time around, they're taking a different approach. By including this provision within the transportation bill, since it is must pass, I think we have a greater uh, impetus to make it happen. And I chair the mass transit side of that legislation on the Senate, so uh, I would expect to be in the negotiations and we will try to make it very clear that this is a critical element of an infrastructure bill that we want to see. Whether this bill makes it through Senate negotiations or not, the state's water infrastructure continues to deteriorate and precious resources continue to be lost, thousands of gallons at a time, every day. In Cliffside Park, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.